Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will talk about how to render the DOM elements conditionally. So in order to render the DOM elements conditionally, you can add the if true false directive to a nested template tag, which encloses the conditional content. So what does it mean is, let's say you have a template tag here and inside of this you have some elements that you wanted to display only if that particular property value is equals to true and some other elements if the value is false. So you can do that using this if true false directive. Now in the if true false you use a property and if the value of the property is true then what will happen is some set of DOM elements will be displayed and if it is not true then you can s s display some other set of DOM elements. So you're rendering the DOM elements conditionally. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's take an example here. So we'll go back to our Visual Studio here and uh, in this we are going to create a new lightning web component. So let's open the command palette and we'll create a lightning web component and I'll call it as if else example default directory and hit enter. Inside of my template, I will create a div tag. We'll use the if true here and we'll provide a property name. And let's say the property name is something. And if this is true, then this will get displayed on the screen. I am true. And so this is a DOM element that you want to display if the value of something is true. Otherwise, Another DOM element will be displayed if it is, if the value is false. Then in that case, I am false would be displayed. But instead of I am true, you can have some other DOM elements. Okay, this is just a simple statement I've added, but you can add a completely different DOM element if you want. So here, let's say something. If the value of something is false, then this will be displayed. So oh, this is like an if-else condition. So if it is true, this will be displayed. Otherwise, the second thing would be displayed. Now you have to define your something property. So we'll go to the JS. So we'll set the value of the property to, let's say, true. So what will happen is, now we have set the property to true, then what will happen? Only this statement will be displayed. And if we had set the property value to false, then this would have displayed. But at one point, only one of them will be shown to the user because we are using this if else directive. So we'll go ahead and update the meta file here, set it to true and we'll add the targets. Okay, now once we have done is let's go ahead and push these changes. So it successfully pushed it to the scratch org. Let's go ahead and open our default org here and let's go ahead and add our component to this home page. So we'll go and click on edit page. So what will it display? Since the value of something is equals to true, it will display I am true. Okay, so now let's go ahead and first add the component if else example let's add it here you can see here it says I am true so we are rendering it based on the value of the property now here if I go back you will see the component will show you I am true see here I am true but now if I go ahead and change the value of my property to false then what will happen is then the second div tag will be displayed, which is this one. So if false, then if the value of the something is false. So then in this case, I am false would be displayed. So let's go ahead and push the changes again. Once I've made it to false, let's go ahead and push it. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. And it should say I am false. You can see here it says I am false. 
So this is the if else directive, or you can say if true false directive. And what it does is it renders the DOM elements conditionally. So it binds the data to the template and removes and insert DOM elements based on whether that property value is true or whether the property value is false. In the next tutorial, we will do a little bit more complex example related to this if true false directive. So I'll see you then. Thank you.